Meanwhile, Abdul Badida, who vied for presidency in the August 8th elections, has opposed a move to have only two candidates during the repeat presidential poll. Speaking this morning, Dida wondered why Kenyans were silent about this, and he has also opposed holding of demos to remove REBC officials. Let's listen in. I told Chipukati, the chairman, before elections, we were in a meeting in Intercontinental, all of us. Ezra Chiroba was there, the chairman was there, Jibili, everybody was there. I told the chairman, excuse me, please, this guy has a, uh, I've suspended him. Ezra Chiroba is dangerous, I told him. And uh, Ezra Chiroba should just step aside. What I want to say is, we saw the court verdict, the problem was IEBC and how things were help happened. And three departments in IEBC. The legal department is good. The head of the legal department has resigned. Number two is generally, Ezra was, says he, he's in charge of logistics. Yeah? The courts severally asked if Forms 34A were not available. And they, they were saying, oh, we don't have network. Kenya is a small country. From Busia, the whole night if you travel in the morning, you're here. It's a small country. So, the secretariat and the head of the secretariat will have facilitated that very easily. But up to today, those forms are missing. They're not there. So the head of the logistics should step aside. The head and the whole of the information technology department, the IT department, should go. It is not an issue of it is a Muslim leading the place or is a Christian or is my friend. It is logic. Step aside with half salary. And then the director of public prosecution should take up the case. If you have found that you had no problem, you will come back. I also want to, the courts to help us, and that is a court case. Uh, a Kuruwa court has taken it. Is this a repeat election or is it a rerun? Why should two repeat? Why, why do we have two presidential candidates? And if uh, anybody in this country supports justice, why are they quiet about this? Why don't they discuss it? Why don't they discuss it? It's not an issue of he will get 10 votes or 100 votes or 20 votes. But why, don't, why is the whole country quiet about this? The issue now has resulted and was taken to the, to the Supreme Court for interpretation. But I would love to see uh, civil societies and lawyers and all those people to say this is not a reader. There are other presidential candidates who are potential and uh, things should be put right, and they should help us to interpret the laws. I will kindly want Raila to hold his horse. Raila is an old man. He has assisted this country. Is a, by the way, Raila would, would have been, in my government, Raila would have been the chairman of the Human Rights Commission. <laughs> <laughs> he's very good in he's very good in you know in putting things right but i don't think he can make a good leader anyway that's my my perspective of seeing things i also <laughs> that's raila raila will have, i will have taken him there uhuru will have been one man who if he asks god will have accepted his prayers but only after going for rehabilitation <laughs> Yeah, he should go for it. Sincerely speaking, you know, it should not be, it should not an issue of tribe or whatever. Uru needs three months rehabilitation. Agent, if you love him and you respect him, please take him there.